Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Digistore Hardware Check. On the run, as I uh, would like to call it, because it's brief and quick. Um, I have an iMac 2011 here connected to a Thunderbolt device, storage device, and I'm going to show you Smoke or Mac and how um, easily you can actually get it running. Alright, let's take a look. So this is, this is one of those promised arrays. Um, <clears throat> you have two Thunderbolt ports. Um, you use one to connect to your computer and the other one is to daisy chain further units. You have one power supply, it's very quiet. And if we take a look over there, okay, this is how it looks from the front. If you power it up, um, it um, will connect instantly to, to, your, to your computer, so um, it's, it's plug and play, literally. And as you can see right now, I'm running Smoke on Mac. And I will tell you where the huge benefits are when you have a fast Thunderbolt device. But before I do that, let's take quickly a look at um, one of my favorite features of this array. Um, it's actually this window here. It allows you to manage the array and it does it through the Thunderbolt cable, basically, connection. So um, very often you need an extra Ethernet connection to manage all this. Now, I have here all the information I need. I can go into my logical drive and um, see um, the configuration. Now, if you want to do decent performance tests with the storage device that you have connected to your computer, you can use the AJA system test, it's for free, um, and it will give you an indication on how your storage is performing. So right now, I'm going to write a 2 gigabyte file. So this is the speed that I get, get the average speed. I'm writing HD RGB files because that's what Smoke uses, okay? And as you can see, at, at first glance, it looks okay. So it, it, it will definitely be enough. Um, one stream of HD RGB is about 210 megabytes. Let's take a look at the graph. Most people ignore these graphs. Um, I think it's very important actually because it shows you that um, the average data rate may be 600 something here, but in fact, it drops below 220, okay? And these things may cause drop frames, okay? So, um, but nevertheless, it does a fantastic job. It's going to be enough here. And if I switch to my Smoke on Mac application, um, I can hit play without any issues. I'm running a special overlay mode, which shows me any drop frames here. Um, if you are curious how you can switch it on, it's Shift D and F13. So now it's off and I don't get the overlay, all right? All right? So <clears throat> this is the clip um, playing back RGB uncompressed files. And um, the big problem that you have without Thunderbolt storage, if you're using an iMac or a laptop, is this, scrubbing a timeline. It's impossible, basically, because um, the storage device cannot keep up with the HD uncompressed stream. And with this Thunderbolt storage, I can jump from one shot to the other. I can do on my iMac or my laptop, I can do my assist work with Smoke on Mac. It's not a hero suite, so I don't care if when I hit play over a time of, let's say, 30 seconds, a frame gets dropped. I don't care. Um, no one will notice this. It's not going to go on to tape, right? So that's totally okay. Um, <clears throat> and for a storage that costs me only $1,600, basically, and um, provides me complete RAID 5, RAID 5 protection, um, and this speed, it's fantastic. Let me, um, let me finish this uh, brief hardware check um, and um, just show you the operating system that I'm running. Um, the operating system is, in fact, down here. You can see the launch pad and the launch pad is something that Lion has. So I'm running the Lion operating system. It's not something that is certified by Autodesk yet, um, but I think it uh, is going to happen very soon. So um, you will definitely I think, <laughs> be able to run your Smoke on Mac application on a Lion OS, on your iMac with Thunderbolt storage, and it's going to be a very, very nice experience. That's it, guys.